I'm not sitting there saying, go call this guy up and tell him what you think about it. I'm not saying that whatsoever. But, you know, if you do that, I don't condone it. I'm not trying to inspire you to do it. All right. But if you do it, don't blame me. Okay. I, I'm just a messenger here. Let's go, boy. Yeah. We're going to chop it up for a little bit. We, you, you got time. I got time. Minding my business like I usually do. This video that we're we're about to talk about, that we're gonna conversate on, he said he's at the pilot off of 7774. I am here at the Flying J, right over here in my Irie, if I'm pronouncing that right. If I'm at my Aerie. My Aerie. Yeah, the land of Mayberry. What's so special about this Flying J right here is they just recently remodeled this. Like it's, it's when you walk up in there, it's all modernized. Like it's nice. It is, it is, it's like a breath of fresh air when you walk up in there, considering what it was before. It was, it was independently owned and they was contracted with Flying J to serve Flying J fuel. But the, the, the store, I think it was like a BP, and they had a family restaurant next door. Now, considering the fact that I, I liked the changes and everything, I, I kind of feel like they, they could have kept the restaurant. They, they could have remodeled the restaurant or brought in Denny's, maybe, maybe IHOP or something like that. But Flying J food, I am not a fan of, bro. They just don't have a selection. And, and it's just, unfortunately for me, they mashed potatoes and macaroni just look dry. So I, 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 I just I just feel like that they should have at least kept the restaurant and, and probably just remodeled. But overall, overall, it is a better, cleaner, better modern better step up than what it looked like before I, I don't know if you've been at this particular flying j then telly's if i'm not mistaken if that's the name but i don't know if you've probably been here but it's right here off of 77 74 right across the street from the speedways let's get into what we're going to be talking about no more wasting time let's get it hold on minding my business on youtube as i usually do and i get my subscription ping from bonehead truckers i watch videos from over there I, i'm not in agreement with ike stevens i'm i'm, I'm not uh, but some of the videos that people send in to him is is interesting to say the least you know what i'm saying if for the people that don't know, shout out to Bonehead Truckers, Ike Stevens, former truck driver, and all he just does is gross videos that, that people send in to him. This particular video right here, I'm not sure if somebody sent it in to him or he found it on the internet in one of the groups or something like that. I don't know. But to me, I just think that it's a bad look. Not, not a bad look for for the person that made the video because the reason why that person made the video is, is what we're in right now. It's the era that we're in right now. We're in the social me media era. Everything has to be put on social media for views, likes, whatever. That's, that's what people do now. Everything we do, if you gotta take a shit, you gotta put it on social media to let somebody know that you're in the bathroom right now taking the shit <laughs> and and you're gonna get you you're gonna get lights views and comments from it I, i'm just saying but this situation right here the young man whoever he is was at the pilot and he came across a, some trash that was left to be honest with you we don't even know if it's another truck driver it i'm i'm just saying it's it's in the trucking parking lot so nine times out of ten yes but what he has done in my opinion was was bad business and what bonehead truckers have done made it worse here's what we talking about hold on so i just parked here at pollen off of 77 74 and got out and there was some bags of trash here but anyways this is the person right here. Yep, that's him. 
Y'all give him a call, let him know what a piece of <laughs> he is. <laughs> Sorry ass mother <laughs> bug mother <laughs> You're a <laughs> damn head mother <laughs> son of a <laughs> you <laughs> turd. Y'all call that <laughs> bonehead piece of <laughs> up. Text him, let him know. There's his name and number, you mother <laughs> piece of <laughs> Pick up the <laughs> Just take it right over there to the <laughs> trash can. You sorry mother Guys, I'm not sitting there saying, go call this guy up and tell him what you think about it. I'm not saying that whatsoever. But you know, if you do that, I don't condone it. I'm not trying to inspire you to do it. All right, but if you do it, don't blame me. Okay, I, I'm just a messenger here. Don't blame me. I'm just a messenger, man. I, man, I, I don't know. You say that you're not condoning it. You say if you do this and if you do that, you're you're talking technical now. You're you're talking like like legal terms. Like I don't condone it. I'm just a messenger. Don't blame me. Somebody sent this in to me, and I just I I decided to just post it. But my thing is this, man. For the guy that made the recording why not just pick up the trash throw it away and then probably talk about the situation without going into a foul mouth laced rant about the guy that you putting on blast right now why show the phone number why show the name okay that's that's my thing for the guy you, you could have probably made the same rant filled video about disgusting truckers because there's a lot of them out here. I, I seen them. I, I seen drivers throw stuff out their windows. I, 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 was in, I was in the rest area where a driver literally opened the door in front of me and, and like threw out bags of trash. He looked at me, I looked at him, kind of like shook my head and, and actually he got out and kind of, he tried to make it like he was just throwing the stuff out so that when he gets out of the truck, he was going to take it to the dumpster. But in actuality, if I hadn't have seen him, he would have left it there. So shout out to that trucker for having a conscience, okay? But for this guy, like I said, why not just take the trash make a rant because obviously the, the the trash was left there he didn't see the driver put it there he just said he just parked there he walked to the back doing his pre or post trip he noticed some garbage right there and just happened to notice that the man's phone number and name was on the receipt and i maybe if another thing too we could throw this in there why did it bother you why did it bother you he ain't throw it on your he, he didn't throw it on your truck he didn't leave it up under your truck he didn't left it near your truck or anything like that this was like by like on the other side and he just literally beeline for that another thing too that i think about it that i think about it is i don't think that video would have been prevalent if the name and phone number wouldn't have been left on the on the receipt you, you see what I'm saying? I, I don't think it would have been, it, it just would have been another situation of a truck driver leaving his trash in the truck stop and this particular driver seen it. But I think that his name and phone numbers, and basically that's what he did. Ain't no telling how many people may have called from his initial video, but you got a gang of people from bonehead truckers calling him, messing with him, harassing him, and all sorts of things you and the channel got over two thousand two two hundred thousand 200 thousand subscribers and many people watch the channel on a daily the video itself already got over five thousand views for 5500 views so far and even in the comment session about four to five people over here claiming that they call left messages he turns off the phone or whatever whatever another person says that they they think it's a setup you know what i'm saying they they think it's a setup but i don't know i i just think it's a bad look we all know what bonehead truckers is about maybe not a bad look in his in his view but me on the outside looking in i don't have nothing against the channel i'm subscribed to the channel shout out to the guy but i'm just saying this particular video that you're dotsing this young man you wouldn't want nobody to do that to you you know what i'm saying you you wouldn't want nobody to find your information and 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 dots you on the internet 
and then you get harassed by a whole bunch of people this that, that's wrong i honestly think youtube probably will step in because i'm somebody gonna flag the video so if you guys haven't went over there to watch it or you guys haven't went over there to see it you better you better catch it because youtube might flag the video for privacy issue what's your thoughts on it honestly i think the video you know shouldn't have been made you know in the first place it's trash and i mean i'm not saying that with that original value was right and wrong on his trash job but uh make a video on it in the first place it was it's unnecessary you know and at what point does it become redundant you know we're in 2024 we know that truckers are nasty and we know that they're not going to stop being nasty so the littering and the truck stop the ski bottles all that we know and it's not going to stop you know even after long after we're gone they're still going to continue doing it and like I said, I, I looked at the video and the issue that I have with Mike Stevens is the fact that he said, I'm not condoning it, don't tell people not to go and hit the guy. When you know, you know, as good as I know, they're going to do, do it. Anyway. Right. 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 Like, I don't condone this, but I mean, they're like, oh, it's a free number, a phone number, and hey, of course I'm going to call the person. So. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm just, I'm just a messenger. Yeah, you, right. yeah, you, you the messenger, bro. You're the messenger. You're, you're the messenger. You're well, over, it. you're, you're, even though you're saying you're not condoning it, you're condoning it because the the man's mm-hmm. name and phone number is it all on your channel. So yes, right. yes, you you are condoning it. I, I understand the legal the the legal aspects of how you speak, but still though you your channel can be potentially striked for this because there's been other issues of youtubers doxing other youtubers and they youtube actually stepped in and did something with their channels so so we all know why you did it in the first place you you did it for the views you're you bonehead truckers bro you 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 roast truck drivers all day that's not, you got you roast truck drivers and you got other truck drivers that roast other truck drivers to send it in. I get it. I get it. I understand it. I hey, some of the stupid stuff that 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 uh, that these drivers do out here is is crazy. My thing is, my thing is too. Like the way they're blasting this guy, you would have thought he did a hit and run, or he would have did something serious. And when you find out they're blasting him over a, a plastic bag of trash. Like, I feel like that's, you know, drawing the line. Like, I can see getting the license plate or the DOT or whatever. To put the man's name and phone number, you know, that's just, that's where you draw the line. You know, that's crossing, you know, that's just flat out crossing the line, you know? We did on the channel about a year ago, if I'm not mistaken, there was a TikTok video that went viral of a Hirschbot driver throwing trash, literally trash, out the window and the the guy of the video recorded it all like that in that particular instance he got the company so yeah company not a big deal hirsch bot swift do everything is public you you're in a you're in a public truck stop you you got the trappings of the truck here you are representing the company by doing messy stuff and my guy shout out to wild beard he made a reaction video on it and the young lady i believe she's one of the recruiters she's one of the recruiters and i think she did a stitched on it or or a duet how, however they do it over there on TikTok. so she came back and said hey the driver been reprimanded i don't know if you could reprimand the driver in that situation, if I'm just throwing trash out the window, how you gonna how you gonna come back and reprimand me? But I, I'm I'm sure she said that the driver was talked to and kind of like make us look bad or whatever, whatever. But that's the company. You can look up Hirschbach. You can look up the phone number. You can call the company and say, hey, driver in truck number such and such and such and such he was just throwing trash out his window it's just not a good look for you guys you gotta gotta guy and maybe if somebody cared enough to call that driver up and say hey bro stop throwing trash in the parking but this right here is different this this right here has this man's whole first last name his whole government name now people is going to go ahead and look him up People can find out where he lived and the phone number and the area code. The area code can tell you where the area is at. You you got this man's whole name and phone number across the internet for everybody to see 
for everybody to react to for everybody to have some nefarious reasons to 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 call him and harass him and here you are bonehead truckers you do what you do but here you are giving it an additional two hundred thousand subscribers more more ammunition to do what you say not to do even though they're gonna do it anyway and by you saying oh i i'm i'm just a messenger yeah you yeah, yeah. and if you want to look at it that way yeah because people send videos into you all the time again like i said i'm not sure if this was sent in to him or he found it or because people be linking videos in his in 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 his bonehead group as well so he probably could have got it from there but if that's the case if you're dotsing the person that left the trash then why not put out the person who who quote unquote exposing it why not put him out there what's his name who's he you say you're not condoning it you you protecting the perpetrator but yet you letting him on your channel dots a person it's not a company I, and i'm sure you guys might come back at me and be like oh but you do it all the time with super eagle well that that's super eagle that's a company that's different that's a company that's a company i let people come on the channel share their stories all the time about the company they're not coming on here doxing a driver for throwing trash outside the window and put his government name and phone number out there for other people to harass this man so again even even with me even saying hey go over there and watch the video i, I probably might have something to play in that too oh, go over there and watch the video but i'm i'm just saying that that video youtube may step in and take the video down because of privacy issues that's that's my thoughts nothing against ike nothing against bonehead truckers because everybody know what bonehead truckers is about it's a roast channel it's it's pretty much what it is it's not a learning channel and ain't it ain't a channel that you could go over there and learn anything it's a channel that you could go over there and watch the host roast videos of other truckers doing some idiotic and crazy ass stuff and just my whole thing is, again, it's just boundaries, you know, a lot of people, you know, like I said, I follow these channels on Facebook or, you know, some of these people just don't know when it's okay to post stuff and then it's like, okay, why would you, you know, put this online, you know? And again, like you said, the time he spent recording that video, he could have just threw it away and went on and got it. If he wanted to make a rent video, because a lot of us do it, I, I see it all the time. I where was i i think i was down in georgia it's that one it's that one nine i believe off of i i know it's going into georgia it's it the one nine is right after ringgold georgia as it it's the next exit after that and i know the the tree line is just cluttered with garbage piss bottles just just trash and I, I i made a comment about it a comment or two about it i ran about it like yeah look y'all but i i showed the mess i ain't walk up on it to find somebody's phone number or anything like that i just show what we what we're experiencing every day this is an everyday occurrence this ain't nothing new y'all this ain't nothing new Trash in truck stop parking lots is not new, y'all. And my thing is, like, at what point does it come repetitive? Because we know people are going to wear flops. We know people are going to throw trash, throw people out. We know people are going to hit trucks. Like, at what point do y'all get tired of filming the same thing or complaining about the same thing over and over and over again? As long as there's a bonehead truckers channel, you, you, will, you will get that. Because there's always shenanigans going on in the truck stops shenanigans going on in the fuel island shenanigans going on in the inside you're gonna always find a piss bottle somewhere you're gonna find a, a poop bowl somewhere and as long as you find it i'm sure bonehead truckers will have it like i said i i do watch the channel i do give them my view do i agree with a lot of things that he say no I, i'm not supposed to if i come across an interesting video that's 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 commentary worth i'm not a fan of everything this man says 
and do but he, he does come across a few interesting videos that 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 i might commentate on if you guys don't want that done to you this guy maybe next time he'll take this as a learning experience not to leave valuable information critical information like your name your full name and phone number out there or if you're throwing trash away make sure you tear the receipt up or anything like that and i i guess he just just did it on a humble like a lot of a lot of these drivers do man they they just throw trash out on a humble and sometimes they might not pay attention to what's left on here i.e the receipt and i think this one right here was maybe DoorDash to him or something like that because if he was to go in like Denny's truck stops or a truck stops with the Denny's in there, they they don't put your name on the receipt. So I think this was probably I think this was probably DoorDash to him or something like that. And he ate and came back in the back and just threw it away. I'm sorry. Another thing he really did too is even when I drove on the road, a lot of times like if I had trash that smells, you know, of course I'm not gonna keep it in the truck, but I would at least, you know, put it on the steps of the truck or put it on the catwalk. And then, you know, when I'm ready to roll or, you know, go inside, I hope it's supposed to be dead. But I mean to just you know, just throw it in the, the lot like that, you know, that's you know yeah that's not the way to handle that whoever left it bro next time you, you'll take this as a learning experience my guy and put your trash in the dumpster or if you're going to do something like that don't leave critical information for people like that guy to send it to channels like bonehead truckers i'm, I'm just saying and again I, I don't want you guys to come over here and get on me or anything like that i don't have nothing against bonehead truckers or ike stevens or anything like that shout out to him shout out to the channel i'm just simply saying that he might want to consider re-uploading the video and blur out the information maybe because that that is privacy that and that that is cause for concern on youtube i'm pretty sure you know with this video of course it's going to be on multiple platforms but if people try to put this on tiktok and you know, i would advise them not to because you know you know how strict tiktok is, oh yeah so. yeah yeah tiktok is very strict i i agree tiktok tiktok terms oh, yeah. or community guidelines they they are strict. very strict very very strict and if you put it up there and it shows people information personal information and stuff like that yeah tiktok will snatch it down with the quickness if it wasn't for us nasty old truck drivers out here on the road you wouldn't have none of your shit this video was brought to you by a truck and a truck driver